that was a fabulous performance. And that was Aidan Reichel, a musical project from Israel that brings together all the various cultures, languages, and special sounds that make up the fabric of Israel today. Their sound is very unique. And this song, Boi, which means come with me, highlights the language and the instruments and a little bit the journey of the Ethiopian Jews who are now part of Israel, the people of Israel. You might have noticed in the performance, the images of the desert, the sun, the colors of Africa, the language, and some interesting looking instruments and clothing. So the Ethiopian Jews lived in small mountain villages in Africa, and they arrived to Israel with centuries of unique Jewish traditions, their own holy language, customs, and prayers. The fifth graders studied this community and are going to share with you today what they've learned. And we thought that especially today is the best day to share this because as we are getting ready to thank, celebrate Thanksgiving, our national holiday of gratitude, this week Israel too is celebrating a newish Jewish holiday of gratitude on their national calendar, the Ethiopian holiday of Sigt. You're gonna hear from the fifth graders how Sigt has turned from a day of hope to a day of true thanks. I hope you'll enjoy learning with the fifth graders and appreciate the work they have put into this morning's tefillah. Gabe? I chose to lead Modeani because it has a lot to do with the Ethiopian Jews. When Israel discovered that a group of Jews got a, um, stuck in Sudan, it sent aircrafts to pick them up. Ethiopian Jews wake up now every day, grateful for being able to live freely and practice their religion. Uh, turn to page four, Amud Arba, for Modeani. For Modeani. Modani Rafane Malachai Vekayam Shehazarta Binishmati Behem La Behem La Rabba Emunateha Rabba Emunateha Mode ani lafane ha la chai ve kayam shehezarta binishmati behemla behemla rapa emunate ha rapa emunate ha in a sacred place, someone can feel settled, whole, connected to others, and close to God. The Jews in Ethiopia went, to the, went up to the highest mountain to celebrate the holiday of Sigt. That The mountain was their sacred place. Matovu, page 12. This morning, oh, Halecha, let us center Yaakov, our heritage. Mishkan, O Techa, we are searching. Will you show us Israel? We are Israel. Born to sing your praises in your holy, holy spaces. Matsubu, bless this morning, Matsubu. walked it Israel. It was too far, so they had to stop in Sudan. 
Israeli government and Israeli army secretly flew airplanes to pick them up and fly them to Israel. Some facts about the Ethiopian Jews are from um, Ethiopia and South Africa. They came to Israel in the late 20th century, and today there are 121,000 Ethiopian Jews in Israel. Ethiopian Jews prayed in a different language than Hebrew. The language is called Ye'ez. The everyday language that the Ethiopians use is Amharic. How to say hello in Amharic is Salami. Sig was celebrated by the Ethiopian Jews up in the mountains. The rabbis are called Kassim. The Kassim would read the Torah and the people would get down on their knees and pray. Shema, page 46. Amud Arba Im Veshesh. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Ehad. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Eloheha, Ve'holabaha mubonavsheha, Ve'komayoteha. Behayu Hadbarim Ha Ele Asher Anohim Metapam Hayom Aleva Veha Veshina Tam Lubaneha Veri Bartapam Veshiteha Bebe Teha Ubateha Vadere Ushopeha Ukumeha Ushar Tamla O Aliadeha Behayu Etotapo Bene Meha Sig is celebrated on the 29th of Hebrew month of Hashvan. Hashvan was once called Mar Hashvan, a bitter month because there was no Jewish holiday. Now there is holiday. This prayer relates to the Ethiopian Jews because they were liberated from Ethiopia and brought to Israel. Imagine if you had no running water or electricity and lived in a primitive village, and then you were brought into a technologically advanced city called Israel by airlifting by helicopter in, in, the, in the early 90s. Please turn to page 52 from Mika Mocha. Micha Moha Belim Hadonai, Micha Moha Vahada Kodesh, Micha Moha Belim Hadonai, Micha Moha Vahada Kodesh, Noah Tefilo Ose Bele Adonai Him Lo Veolam Bae. Banana, banana, banana. Banana, 
banana, banana. Miha moha, belim, hadonai. Miha moha, vada, kodesh. No, te filo, otse, pele, adonai, him, no, veo, lava, ed. Amidah is a silent and very personal prayer, also known as a standing prayer in the Shmonet Esra 18. When the Ethiopian Jews were in Ethiopia, they faced north to Jerusalem. But we here face east to Jerusalem. But really, we all face the same place. Um, Amidah, page 50, um, 56. It's, um, good much research. Ethiopian words. I wanted to share that with you. There is Rosh in Hebrew, which is uh, Ras in Amharit. There is Shalom, which is Salam. There's Olam and Alam. Abba, Abat, um, Gamal, Gamil, and Dam is Dim. And there are a lot more than you could, that you could find on your own. And that was the Hebrew and Amharit corner for today, right? Yeah. Yeah. The operations that airlifted the Ethiopian Jews to Israel were called Operation Moses in 1984 and Operation Solomon in 1991.
Happy Roma. Ooh ya I said, ooh ya I said, ooh ya I said, shalom. Ooh ya I said, ooh ya I said, ooh ya I said, shalom. Ooh ya I said, ooh ya I said, ooh ya I said, shalom. May the one, may the one who brings peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who brings peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who brings peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who brings peace bring peace down, bring peace down. Oh, shalom. Be in Roma. Oh. Shalom, be in Roma. Ooh ya, I said, ooh ya, I said, ooh ya, I said, Shalom. Ooh ya, I said, ooh ya, I said, ooh ya, I said, Shalom. Oh ya, I said, ooh ya, I said, ooh ya, I said, Shalom. A one, a two. May the one, may the one who brings peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who brings peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who brings peace bring peace down, bring peace down. May the one, may the one who brings peace bring peace down, bring peace down. There are two ideas about how the Ethiopian Jews got to Ethiopia. One of them is that they are descendants of Dan, a lost tribe of Ethiopia. It is also believed that the queen of Ethiopia, Sheba, had a child with King Solomon, bringing him back to Ethiopia, making him the first Ethiopian Jew. As part of the sixth celebration, the Ethiopian Jews had umbrellas to cover their priests and important people from the sun. One of their symbols was the umbrella. Please join me in singing Hatikva. Please rise. Open language, the word six means to bow down. Part of the sixth celebration is that better Israel will bow. Uh, down all the way to the ground to show their belief in God and their love of the Torah and their hope of returning to Israel. Six falls fifty days after Yom Kippur. Bokel Tov Brandeis. Uh, I wanted to share with you something from my childhood or teenage years as a ch uh, in Israel. Um, I'll never forget this. In the late 80s, we would wake up in the morning and we'll hear the news. And every few weeks, we would hear hush hush over the night, another plane landed in Israel secretly bringing home Ethiopian Jews. This went on for months and it was a secret. It was not well known because it was not, uh, it was dangerous to, to fly over these countries. 
But sure enough, within a couple of years, uh, you would see around in the streets, in schools, in shops, these beautiful Ethiopian Jews uh, with wearing their huge jackets in the middle of the summer because they were so unused to this summer that we have. For them, it was like winter. And I just wanted to share with you how grateful, thinking about this coming Thanksgiving, thinking about things that we can be grateful for. Wow, I'm so grateful. I hope you are too for living in a century, century or in an era when, where wherever there is a need for rescue or a need to save or help Jewish people wherever they are, we know there's somebody that's going to be able to do that and take care of us. So I'm really grateful for that. As we leave today's tefillah and look ahead to our Thanksgiving celebrations next week, let's remember that it's not only the food on our plate that deserves our thanks, but also the people who made it possible, the farmers and the farm workers, the bakers and the grocers, the truck drivers and the packagers, and of course, our family who buys, prepares, and makes all the arrangements for a special day. And let's remember to have gratitude to the people who came way before us, making a journey to a new land. It takes courage to leave for a new home. And it takes courage and kindness and an open heart to welcome the strangers. This was true for the Beit Yisrael who live in Israel now, as well as those who have come and are still arriving to our own country, America. So enjoy your holiday, have a safe holiday. And when you're feeling thankful for something, be sure to say it out loud. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, everybody. And talking about grateful, I want to say thank you so much for Beverly and Merav and the fifth graders that put this all together and the SIGD holiday, which is the first time that we celebrate it at our school and we announce it and we talk about it is so it's, it's it was their idea and thank you and i really want i really want to thank you and for all your hard work and teaching the students and learning together and searching together about this holiday this important holiday and how grateful we are to have you fifth graders and mirav and beverly lead this one more thing don't forget after thanksgiving we're gonna try something new we're gonna stay at home with our families and join Fila from home. So we're gonna start after Thanksgiving for three weeks, three Thursdays. We're gonna start Fila at 8.05, not at 8.30, 8.05 because you're at home. After Fila, you're gonna come to school. We're gonna start school at 9.30 that day, okay? For three weeks, we're gonna try it from Thanksgiving to winter break. We're gonna try, we're gonna see. If it's gonna work, great. If not, we're gonna go back to celebrate it here together and to pray together. So I wanna wish each and every one of you happy Thanksgiving, and we'll all see you in two weeks at home. By the way, Rega, by the way, the song that we're going to hear right now is a song by Shlomo Gronich, an Ethiopian group of kids that he put together with a beautiful song, with a beautiful voice. Stay with us and listen. <laughs> <laughs> 